Hey everybody, it's Scott Dillon here from the SCP Cloud Platform Center of Excellence for North America. And tonight, I just want to give you a quick glimpse into something called CAP, which is short for SAP Cloud Platform Application Programming Model. And if you do a quick uh, Google search here for SAP Cloud Platform Application Programming Model, you'll see some interesting blogs, um, but I want to draw your attention to there's a couple of new videos down here and my colleague DJ Adams he does a, a code uh, Q macro he does a talk every Friday he does a hands-on coding session and oftentimes he's talking about the application program I also suggest you join into him to get the hands-on type stuff I just want to give you a quick glimpse into it and there's a newer one here from March 28th 2019 but essentially I'm trying to do uh, more uh, quick snippets just to kind of give you what I would call architectural awareness. So when you go into the web IDE and you see new project from template and you select uh, Cloud Foundry as an example, just uh, deselect favorites here, all categories, you will see a new template, well, one that's been announced, I don't know, maybe six or eight months. It's called SAP Cloud Platform Business Application. So I've already got one created that I will show you, which is here underneath uh, test case. And what you will see when you run through and you create um, a project with the template, you will see a, da a database folder created. You will see a serve folder created and some structures inside. And so basically what CAP is, and this is just my my words, not to be confused, I'm sure, with the uh, product managers that are building out this, but it's a framework that provides you a high degree of flexibility, modularity, if you want to build a custom extension and write an application on SAP. And so I've been, or SAP Cloud Platform. So I've been playing around with it a little bit, starting off with some really simple use cases. And so the idea is, is that we're trying to bring uh, the CDS notation or core data services and all the benefits of it over to Cloud Platform for customers that want to use either, and this is important, either Java or Node.js, you know, for their business logic to build that application. Now, having said that, a lot of things are done for you automatically. So as an example, if I look at this data model, people that are familiar with CDS will recognize this pretty quickly. But essentially, you know, you have this notation where you specify your entities, so I've got one here called safety incident, and it's a managed um, entity as a key. So, you know, just immediately anybody that recognizes this UUID or universal identifier, the framework takes care of that. So instead of you having to write some kind of universal ID generation, store procedure, function, et cetera, the framework does it for you. And then you can see the properties are listed here instead of a, a generic notation. And then I've got an entity called employee and an entity called customer. And then, you know, in terms of your primary key, foreign keys, you have this notation here, assigned employee, and it's an association to the employee. So in other words, an employee can have uh, one or more incidents related to it. And so then you say to yourself, okay, well, okay, then how does that help me? Because when you right click and you do the build, it will automatically reach out um, and create the appropriate structure on HANA for you automatically. So you don't have to be a HANA expert. You don't need to know the HANA syntax. You just say build and it goes in the background and does it. And so that's step one. And so the next step that's really, I think, is equally important is that the notation for CDS can also be used to generate and create your services. So here you can see I've got one created. It's called uh, service incident. It's including the three entities and I basically say safety incident as a projection on incident dot safety incident and the same thing for the two other entities. And the same sort of thing when I right click on this one and I say run and I say run as Java application, it'll take about I don't know, maybe 30 or 40 seconds and then you'll get this link. And basically what this link is, it's the fully generated uh, CRUD operations in uh, basically available now to you via OData. And rest and so from basically what you saw back inside the web IDE which amounted to seven lines of code there including the space and about 
another uh, 33 lines of code there. So about 40 lines of code. And with some automatic generation, I've got some tables, some relationships, some OData services all generated automatically for me, complete CRUD. And then if you wanted to go in and modify that, that'd be your choice. You want to put some custom logic, but then you can do that with, um, depending on how you initially set up the project with uh, Java or JavaScript. So that's a quick, really quick introduction to uh, CAP, SAP. Uh, cloud platform application programming model. Uh, stay tuned as I dig in and share some of my learnings on this particular topic because I think it's going to be a really good one going forward. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.